Hello, I'm Dr. Simi Varej. So how do we bring up more resilient, more responsible children? Your relationship with your child is most important, but it's something that we have to build up and we have to work on. It just does not happen like that. So these are just some simple tips of what to do and how to bring up a more responsible child and how to have a better relationship with your child, whether to be an indulgent parent or whether to be a parent who sets some rules which they enforce and at the same time be a friend. Mindful Parenting 15 Tips for Young Parents uh, There are different types of parenting. Authoritarian parenting is when people focus mainly on obedience and discipline and punishment. Authoritative, on the other hand, though it does enforce rules and boundaries, but the focus is not on punishment, but on, on making a child understand why rules are important and enforcing them. Permissive parenting is where children are allowed anything in the attitude of kids will be kids. And uninvolved parents may be just generally uninvolved and busy with their own selves so there's no one pattern that works for all children all children have different temperaments some may be quiet some may be outgoing some may uh, be slow to warm up some may be hyperactive and aggressive and oppositional some question everything so parents need to modulate their responses according to the child aim is not perfect parenting but respectful mindful parenting there is no perfect parenting as anyone can make mistakes and so can parents. But being mindful means staying in control of your emotions and not getting too angry or too upset. The parents are role models for children. So when they handle situations calmly, children also learn to do that. Be a friend yet be a parent too. That is important. Your relationship is one that you have to build up it is not just there naturally a child who grows up in a calm environment where consistent parenting is provided it helps the child to adapt better to ups and downs in life a child that can take a no grows up into a less impulsive more responsible adult giving children responsibilities early helps them to be more responsible as adults so it depends on you, how you raise a child, whether you raise a more resilient child with self-confidence, it's up to you. Respond after thinking with respect for the child. Treat them like a little person. Uh, do not have the attitude that bachcho ko kuch nahi aata or they know nothing just because they are children. No, respect their opinions and treat them like a little person. Children need boundaries, so start young. Don't be too strict or too lenient. Set clear rules. For example, as adults, we follow traffic rules because we know we have to. Similarly, children, if given clear rules, also understand that they have to follow those rules and it helps them to follow rules as they grow up also. So have a time for play, a time for TV, a time for bed and a time for family together. This helps them as they grow into teenagers too. Praise often. In fact, do that more than you criticize. Up to four or five simple praises and then one criticism is okay. It should not be the other way around that you criticize five, six times and then grudgingly give one praise. So, just say things like, you know, I like how you did this so fast today or I like it when you help your little brother or thanks for doing this for me. Saying please and thank you help say that to others in the house tell them thank you bache for getting me this thank you child it teaches them to also do the same speaking to others politely like the maid etc also teaches children to treat others with respect avoid harsh criticism even if you have to criticize word your words carefully so the word should not be too harsh or abusive this also applies to others in the house. So if you are being abusive with each other, 
children are going to notice that. So if there's a fight between siblings or friends, instead of saying, why did you do this? Ask, what did you feel? What happened? What else could you have done? Instead of hitting or getting into a fight. Teach them to express their feelings. For example, if a child says, I'm upset because someone broke my toy or I'm angry because of this, it helps to prevent them from becoming aggressive. When the, with an upset child, first help the child to calm down. Ask them to first calm down, take two, three deep breaths and speak in a calm voice. Then after that, listen. And then empathize with them, you know, by saying that, oh, that must have been upsetting and no wonder you're upset. When they are calm, then also see that, help them to see that things are not always fair and things don't always go as we wish. However, if there is any physical abuse, physical punishment or sexual abuse, that has to be taken seriously and addressed. With tantrums also, the basic thing is children want attention. So if you, if you are giving them too much negative attention, that also is attention. So hitting is negative attention, scolding is negative attention. That may actually in, increase their unwanted behavior. So think about it whether you've given them enough positive attention in the day whether you spend some quality time with them and talk to them and being appreciative of them if or you know play a simple game like a pillow fight or tickling if there is a tantrum ignore it or distract for example in a shop if a little child throws a tantrum distract the child or just be calm and say that when you calm down, we can carry on because I'm not going to listen when you're shouting or crying. Remember, no means no. If you say no for something, try and implement it. Saying no and then giving in leads to inconsistent incons messages to the child. However, don't say no to everything. Don't make it a power game. Both parents need to say the same thing. If one parent is saying yes and the other is saying no, that is going to lead to a child with discipline problems. Discuss rules and consequences of not following them. For example, uh, TV timings, bed timings. So discuss rules and consequences. And if the child doesn't follow the rule, ask them what would be the consequence. Discuss it with them. That, okay, if you do not do this, then we can switch off your TV for the evening. Get them to agree to it because that will make it simpler later on. So have the consequence, if it's pre-decided, it helps. Rules are for everyone. Example, no TV during meal times applies to everyone, including grown-ups. Occasional bending of rules is fine. Example, TV may be allowed on Saturdays at lunchtime or junk food days may be fixed twice a week. Discuss mobile use, iPad, internet rules in advance. What rules do you want? How long can they use these? Supervision of internet use. What all websites they can visit. How not to add strangers or talk to them, etc. Discuss these and revise it after some time. Practice what you preach. Do not raise your voice if you don't want the child to raise their voice. So, therefore, have a rule in the house that there is to be no shouting unless there is a fire. Stick this rule in the house and follow it. Be brief and clear. Listen more than you speak. Be brief, give clear instructions and be gone. Give one task at a time. And remember to praise or pat on the back. Spend quality time at least 20-30 minutes daily. If not daily, then, you know, thrice a week or at least on the weekends. Play a game together, just walk together while going to the market or go outside for some exercise together. Watch your favorite cartoon with the child or read a story before bedtime. And so these kind of things are important for both parents. Give children responsibilities from an early age like making their bags, setting their uniform, helping out clean the table. These things make us more responsible adults, which is I think what we want from our children. 
ओवर इंडल्जेंस अवॉइड दैट और हेलीकॉप्टर पेरेंटिंग वे यू आर फुलफिलिंग ऑल द नीड्स दैट मे हार्म मोर बिकॉज दिन चिल्ड्रन ग्रो अप टू एक्सपेक्ट दैट एंड वॉन्ट दैट एज एडल्ट एज वेल सॉल्विंग ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स फॉर चिल्ड्रन मे नॉट हेल्प दैम टू लर्न हाउ टू सॉल्व देयर ओन प्रॉब्लम्स सो ट्राई एंड डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम विद दैम and see what is the best thing that they can do to solve it rather than jumping in and solving it for them remember academics is not everything play time is very very important and a must so that is very important 30 40 minutes of play time should be compulsory this is especially so even for the adults so if the parents are not exercising and expect the child to that is going to be difficult so be a role model and do that yourself also if you are very busy then try and do it on the weekends but do take out some time supervise children while outside even boys because boys can also be prone to sexual abuse so what we want are children who are responsible we don't want adults who cannot take a no take out time for yourself that's very important but spend some quality time with the child switch off your mobile yourself and have a technology free day live a simple life yourself respect your child for what they are and not just for marks and awards thank you hello everyone i am sumira banerji and i'm a clinical psychologist and i would like to take forward from whatever dr varaj has just discussed we all know that parenting is a very tough job there is no ready made manual for that and whatever we do we try and follow by whatever our experience has taught us whatever we have seen around us and also little bit by our instincts therefore it might be of help for us if we may learn little bit about how we can try and be a better parent now when we are talking about trying to be a better parent we are not trying to talk about being a perfect parent but we are trying to talk about being a respectful and a mindful parent while trying to do that we have to keep this thing in mind that for the child the parents form the most crucial attachment and not only that the parents are the primary role model of the child and whatever we do whatever we try and do we have to always keep these two things in mind as we go forward now we might have a lot of dreams and expectations and intentions about however we would like to rear our child which may or may not always get fulfilled however we should not give up however we should keep on intending and trying to give our best shot and then see what can happen if we can compare parenting as gardening then parents are the gardeners the children are the seeds and all that we can do sow the seed on the ground water it regularly give all the nurturance as we can do give all the protection that we can try and do and then see the plant as it takes its form and shape and it grows up and give the rest thank you everyone for listening to us and have a great day